In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a Java algorithm to calculate the sum of all odd numbers within a given range. I'm going to demonstrate it with 1 to 100, but you can use any range you want. I start by declaring a start variable and initializing it to wherever I want it to start, in this case 1, then an end, which will in this case be 100, and then finally a sum variable that will keep track of the sum, which will initialize to 0. Next, I'm going to make a for loop that's going to go through all the numbers from start to end. So I'll say for int i, which is our counter variable, equals start. It's going to continue as long as i is less than or equal to end. And each time it goes through the loop, it's going to increment i by 1. We'll put our curly brackets here to show where the body of the loop begins and ends. Now we have to check if it is an odd number or not. So we're going to say if i is our counter, so we're going to say i mod 2. The modulo operator, also known as mod, does a form of division, but it only calculates the remainder. If i is an even number, i mod 2 will always be 0. If i is an odd number, i mod 2 will always be 1. And since we're looking for odd numbers, we'll say i mod 2 equals 1, and that means i is an odd number. If i mod 2 equals 1, we want to say sum equals the old value of sum, plus the current value of i. This will go through, and it'll go through all the numbers from start to end, and if it is odd, it'll add i to whatever our sum is. Let's check out the value of sum at the end, so we can see if it did it correctly. We'll run it, and there we go. 2500, which is the sum of all odd numbers from 1 to 100. If you want to learn more about Java, click on the image for the Java playlist, and if you want to learn specifically about operators like mod, check out the next video. I'll see you soon.